Hi, I'm Mark with Ditch Witch. Today I'd like to discuss the proper procedures for welding maintenance and repair on your equipment. As technology becomes more complex, it's necessary to take a few more precautions. However, we do recommend you use an authorized Ditch Witch dealer for all repairs to your machine, but we know that that's not always possible. Any modifications that are made to your machine need to be approved by the Ditch Witch manufacturer. First, read your operator's manual for the proper and safe way to set up your machine. Some units have safety devices such as cylinder locks and chocks for your tires or tracks. Any raised or moving components need to be locked out. Always have a fire extinguisher nearby. Before beginning, disconnect the battery and cycle the key to make sure no electrical components are powered. Then disconnect the engine controller and ditch switch controller if equipped to ensure there is no feedback while welding. Inspect the area and remove all flammables. This can range from petroleum, grass, to a shop rag. It may be necessary to clean or shield any sensitive components from heat or weld spatter. Do not weld on fuel or hydraulic tanks or around any fuel lines. Buff the paint to have a good ground. The ground needs to be close to the area you are welding. Be sure to wear proper PPE for welding. This can include a welding helmet, fire resistant clothing, insulated gloves and boots. Once the welding is complete, plug the controller back in, reconnect the battery, and you are ready to go back to work. I'm Mark Richards with Ditch Witch. Don't learn safety by accident.